this look a bit better before we move on. That's not terribly interesting. So inside app.js, but right now I only have an H1. Let's put a div with the class name of app header, which was something that was left in the CSS. So app header. Let's put our H1 in there. API party. Let's see what that gets us. Yay. Let's put an H3 above that. Ain't no party like an. Yep, pretty exciting. But let's give it some better CSS. First, I want to import some Google fonts. I'm going to copy and paste this line into Slack so you don't have to go look it up yourself. I'm going to import two Google fonts, Alpha Slab 1 and Gentium Book Basic. Going to get uh, both a bold and a bold italic here. Or that's a, is that regular? 300 is light, right? So regular and regular italic. And then for app, I've got text align center. I'm going to add font family, Gentium book basic in quotes. If we fail to find that, I will just use a serif font. Let's see what that does. Okay, it looks like everything changed to this little serif font. A little more interesting than Times New Roman. But my H1, I'm going to use Alpha Slab 1. So I'm going to say font. This is a shorthand for more than one font property. 60 pixel slash 75 pixel. Anybody know what that means? That's the font size and the line height all in one. Alpha Slab 1. Failing to find that, we'll just use any cursive font. Failing to find one of those, we'll just get a sans serif. And I'm going to say text transform uppercase. So even if I don't write it in all caps, it will appear in all caps. You can do that just with CSS. Hey, hey now we're talking. Let's style our H3. I'll say font italic 400, 400 being a font weight, this being a font style, this being a font size, this being line height, and this being font family, Gentium Book Basic. Failing to find that, serif. There we go. Very nice. Ain't no party like an API party. Go ahead and copy this whole CSS file, paste it in Slack. There it is. Add header, content, and style. 